part four, acids. There are three rules for naming acids. If it ended in IDE, it goes to hydroic acid. If it ended in ATE, it goes to ic acid. And if it ended in ITE, it goes to OUS acid. You know that it's an acid because it starts with H or hydrogen. So in our first example, it starts with hydrogen, so I know it's an acid. SO4 sulfate, so 8 goes to ic, and we have sulfuric acid. That one has a little change with the UR being added in there. The next one starts with H, so I know it's an acid, and it's sulfide. Sulfide turns to hydrosulfuric acid. So the only time you should have hydro in front is if it ended in IDE. Go ahead and pause the video and try naming these on your own. Restart when you think you have them. These are all acids. SO3 is sulfite, so it goes to sulfurous acid. Because it to OUS. HF is hydrofluoric acid because we had fluoride and I goes to hydroic. H3PO4 is phosphoric acid because PO4 is phosphate. We have three hydrogens in front because phosphate's charge is a negative three. You always have as many hydrogens as the charge of the anion. HNO2 was nitrite, so ite to OUS, and we have nitrous acid. And finally, the last one is HI. I is iodide, so we have hydroiodic acid. Pause the video and try this one on your own. It starts with hydrogen, so we know that it's an acid. C2O4 is oxalate, so 8 turns to ic, and we have oxalic acid, so D. This is why knowing the endings of the polyatomic ions are very important. I'm going to pause the video and try this one on your own. This one starts with hydrogen, so we know it's an acid. Br is bromide. And I goes to hydroic, so hydrobromic acid. So C. These are all acids, so pause the video and try these on your own. Going from name to formula. So remember we said that you add as many hydrogens as the charge on the anion. So hydrochloric acid came from ide, so that's chloride. Chloride has a negative one charge, so we need one hydrogen in front. Sulfuric acid came from sulfate, which is SO4 negative two, so we need two hydrogens in front. Chromic acid came from chromate, 
which has a negative two charge. So we need two hydrogens in front. Hydrocyanatic acid came from cyanide, which has, ne has a negative one charge, so HCN. Nitrous acid came from nitrite, which has a negative one charge, so HNO2. And hydrosulfuric acid came from ide, so sulfide with a negative two, so we need two hydrogens in front. So here's a flow chart that can help you figure out what type of compound it is and how you name it. If it starts with hydrogen, it's an acid, and so you have to use acid rules. If it's a non-metal, then it's molecular and you have to use prefixes, the mono, di, tri, and all of those. If it's a metal, it's ionic, and so if it starts with group 1A, 2A, Silver, zinc, cadmium, or aluminum, you just name the metal and the nonmetal with ide at the end. If it's not in that group, then you need to use Roman numerals to indicate the charge of the metal. So if you had Fe2O3, you would say. It doesn't start with hydrogen, so it's not an acid. It doesn't start with a nonmetal. It's a metal, so it's ionic. It's not in group 1A, 2A, silver, zinc, cadmium, or aluminum, so I need to use Roman numerals. If it's P2O5, it starts with P, which is a nonmetal, so I use prefixes. If it's HBr, it starts with hydrogen, so it's an acid, and I use acid rules.